have a set the pleasure to have two community with us. So first we have JHAG, Java Hellenic User Group. And JHAG is the very first Java user group in Greece, founded in 2001 by some Java enthusiasts and professionals. And one of them is our guest today, Thomas Plakas. And Thomas, hello Thomas. Thomas hello, will talk hello Despina. Hello, Thomas will talk about 25 years of Java. So Thomas, tell okay. me. Uh, Thank you very much for inviting me in this uh, conference and I will be very glad to present again Java Hellenic User Group. As you mentioned, Despina is most probably the oldest one and uh, meetup ever and community. And now we'll present uh, a, a big celebration that happened in Java right now. It's uh, since 23rd March of uh, 2020, it was actually java tends to be 25 so it's an old teenager we can say compared to some other language more modern as they claim for so uh let me share my desktop and start the presentation okay I hope you can see my presentation right now, my screen. And uh, let's go. So as I mentioned here, Java 10 is 25 years old. Uh, a little bit about uh, Java Helen user group. Uh, it's 2001, actually the, the uh, date is, the year here is wrong, it's 22, but no matter what, this is the first uh, Meetup user group. It was uh, founded by two very enthusiastic colleagues, Paris Apostolopoulos and uh, Panos Kostadinidis. They are still member of our community. And uh, what we are doing since uh, 2001 is making Meetups, sometimes more often, sometimes not so more often. Nowadays, it's only online. You do this uh, with situation. Uh, in, in our meetup, you are more than welcome to come. We have always food and drink and some gifts sometimes. We are a Java community process member since 2010 and we are joining and we participate in the Adobe JDK product. In previous year, we, we also joined in uh, Adopt the J2E standard and we're working in the standard with uh, official J community process uh, people. And finally, nowadays, we're starting to join in one more initiative of uh, Java community process called Java in Education. And I will speak a little bit more about this later. So how about Java? I know most of us were working more than 15 years or more with Java. So it's more like our second language, except Greek, let's say and after that, English. But in most of the case, what's happening with Get Java after 25 years is right now we have deployed in 42 billion virtual machines, more than 12 million developers run Java and more than 21 billion cloud connected virtual machines. And of course, according to the latest reviews, Java is the first programming language. So something good is happening to this language and most most over he just turned everything uh, uh, forward since uh, its uh, creation uh, the java has some philosophy especially for the jdk platform and uh, the the jvm platform and the jdk as an api the first one is the platform is only completeness must be we deliver also only always platform java platforms that they are ready to play in a different virtual machine, different operating system. So it's a virtual machine that can run everywhere. It's, we put always effort to the JDK engineers to call it in security. One thing that uh, sometimes we said that Java is not so 
uh, fast it's in modernization innovation but i still believe that it's really really fast in that and uh, nowadays it's turning uh, much more modernized and i can say that because nowadays java has a very very fast short release period and we'll talk about it a little bit later of course it's open and trans transparent nowadays open jdk is on open source under gpl license and everyone can join to the java community process everyone can contribute and everyone can be part of the leading team uh, about uh, designing the future of java and the features finally it uh, java is uh, somehow focused in the developer productivity and compatibility is always backward compatible and of course as you most probably know is the most active ecosystem i think ever there's so many libraries, so many tutorials, so many frameworks around Java in so many different technologies. From core Java to microservices, to enterprise, to everything, to devices everywhere. So let's see about history. Don't forget that Java started, it's 25 years old nowadays. Everything started in 1990. 1991, where uh, luggage like uh, OAC introduced that runs ev in every uh, um, in every device. Of course, after that, in the big year was 1995, where the Java 1.0 was announced by Sun. At that moment, Java is a Sun microsystem creation. In 1996, JDK 1 is released. And after uh, three years between 1997 and 2000, Java be started became uh, running in different devices from mobile to uh, Java cards. And also uh, the first Java-based Blu-ray disc player was introduced. Since the 2000 to 2008, there was a lot of Java developer and adoption. Many things were introduced there from release version 1.1 to Java 1.6 still under Sun Microsystem uh, umbrella. And uh, several features were introduced during that, like just-in-time compiler, generics collection, garbage collections, and more other things. In 2009, uh, acquired by Oracle, this was a big one. And also a Java 7 was released with some features like for joint framework going to multi-core environment, involved dynamic, and the new System maybe file system API. Also, another thing that was introduced and was very important was the Java magazine, where articles about new stuff and old stuff about related to Java has been announced and launched. Uh, we can say that a big year and a big period it was between 2012 and 2014 in Java because the Java 8 release was introduced and it was a lead was a big thing for Java, not only because Java 7 was not was staying for a long time, but also because Java 8 is actually was uh, and introducing a new thing like functional programming, Lambda extension, Streams API, and a new daytime. For those that are working with Java, we knew that the daytime of Java is, was not very good and we're using some other libraries, but now the new daytime was a really, really excellent stuff finally between the period 2015 and 2020 start the modernization of the of the java and most probably the the big things was that they just changed the release life cycle so every six months we still have a release now so any new release any new features are adding very fast and also during 2020 java 15 was released this is the current version and still remains the first programming language ever. Uh, for more information about the history of Java and some achievements, you can go to the link below and check this out. One thing that Java also introduced for early from the beginning, 1999, was the Java community process. In some microsystem at that time, and then Oracle continued this concept that everything is continuous, community must be involved there. That's why now it's 22 years, not 20 years. But what is a community process? It's a way that you, everyone can 
propose a, a, a specification request for Java. Everyone can be a member of JCP, can lead this one and can contribute to that. So for writing for each feature of Java, we need to write a specification to have a reference implementation and also to have a set from for tests for compatibility. As mentioned before, Java is highly backward compatible. What else? As I mentioned, OpenJDK is an open source stuff. So follow on Twitter, you can go download the code, play around and also to be an OpenJDK contributor. Feel free to join and start playing around with Java. Another internal internet project that happens uh, the next uh, the last six months in Java is Java in Education. It is a J JCP internal program. And what is happening now is uh, uh, starting uh, trying to uh, promote Java in local education institutions and uh, schools uh, by, by uh, user groups. So if you want to, to learn more about that and to have an idea about uh, this kind of educational process, go and contact with your local JAG. In Green Athens is Java Hellenic User Group, and Thessaloniki is the corresponding group of Thessaloniki. So please feel to contact with people with your uh, local user groups. How about join JHAG? As we mentioned, JHAG, I think is the oldest one. We have Slack, we have a website, we have a Vimeo where all our meetups are recording and all the presentation can be found there. And we have a Twitter. So please follow us in social media, as they used to say. And one thing that is most important in that sense is we need speakers. Please propose a talk. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to, uh, to understand fully the topic. The concept is that if you want to find out for more about the topic, just propose a presentation. Many people that they will start hearing you in this, they will just contributing to you. Also, you can create a, 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 a talk just asking questions, nothing more. Everyone is uh, more than welcome to join. We don't care about expertise right, right now. And finally, this is the final stuff for me. I'm Thomas. Of course, Java is already, as you know, many years there, so new, th new people will start uh, right now to lead the whole uh, Java Hellenic user group. I'm one of the co-organizer and we are still now four organizers. Thank you very much for that. Any questions? Thank you, thank you so much. So uh, just to note again that you can ask your questions uh, in the panel in your right in the Ventura. Um, you can share now if you have one for Thoma. So Thoma, we have one for you. What would you advise a young student to learn Java over other programming languages? Honestly, yes. I cannot say that I'm the... I can say that Java is something that if you start to learn, definitely you have much more a bigger pool to find a job. So for a young student, yes, this is a good one. In general, I insist that you have to start learning some programming language. I don't want to promote always the Java. Of course, Java is the best, but uh, start learning one and start learning a second one and then compare them to see how it fits to you, how the, how the job can be done with one or the other and start thinking about which is the best one. Of course, Java is the best one. But Okay, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Of course, yes, for you, Java is the best. <laughs> I agree. So the best tool ever. <laughs> yes. So thank you, thank you for um, introducing us to JHAG, to the community. So anyone that would like to join, Thomas has shared the info. Um, and it's also the, uh, the information is also available in our uh, site.